time. Tau overflows. Cycle of sexual maturity. Just as children are born out of ordinary sex, meditation is born out of extraordinary sex. You have not yet known anything about the extraordinary sex. Ex extraordinary sex is the seed of meditation and it is meditation that really gives you the quantum leap in the realm of harmony and blissful existence. I have wondered long ago as a teenager how does illumination happen? As the journey continued it dawned that illumination happens through interaction between opposite poles. When I realize that it is erroneous to call these poles as opposite to one another, instead these are complementary with same wavelength. Waving at same frequency, Tantra is illumination out of dialogue between Shiva and Devi. The two merge into one another. Through their union, illumination happened. Tantra is the illumination out of the union of Shiva and Shakti, two complementary poles. Realization happened that sex has to be finally, sex has to finally become the step for meditation. Such is the natural process of transformation and growth of human consciousness. It is for this reason that I go on sharing my insights on various aspects of life and living. And if your sex does not become finally a moment of meditation, you have not yet known what sex is. You have only heard about it, you have read about it, and people who have been writing about it know nothing about it. In the process of transformation comes the third cycle. This is the period of sexual maturity. This cycle starts from 14 at and reaches 21. During this cycle, your sex instincts matures. And this is significant to understand. If real cell has gone well and your sex matures, a very strange thing happens that you may not have heard or thought about it. Also, you have not been given the chance for that. I said to you that the second seven year period or cycle that is gives you a glimpse of foreplay, the seven to fourteen. And this third seven year period or cycle from fourteen to twenty one gives you a glimpse of afterplay. Both foreplay and afterplay are very important in the process of mystical experience of cosmic orgasm and the process of transformation. This foreplay and afterplay I am talking of is not what you have heard about. You are still together with girls and boys but now a new phase starts in your being. You start falling in love. Not really falling in love. Instead, growing in love. That is what is the process of transformation. And soon one day, love will blossom into the flower of awakening with tremendous beauty and fragrance of unimaginable proportions as your aura. It is still not a biological interest. You are not interested in producing children. You are not interested in becoming husband and wives. No. These are the years of romantic play. 
you are more interested in beauty, in love, in poetry, in sculpture, in all forms of art which express romanticism in myriad ways. Sculpture is an expression of romanticism. Poetry is that which are all different phases of romanticism and unless a man or unless a person has become romantic or has some romantic quality he will not know what afterplay is. Sex is just in the middle. It begins with foreplay then comes the sex in the middle, then comes the afterplay. The longer the foreplay, the better is the possibility of reaching the climax. And better the possibility of reaching the climax, the better remains the opening for afterplay. And unless a couple knows afterplay, they will never know what sex is in its completion or maturity and flowering of romanticism. It must end in the maturity and flowering of romanticism. Now there are sexologists who are teaching foreplay. A taught foreplay is not the real thing but they are teaching it and at least they have recognized the fact that without foreplay sex cannot reach climax but they are at a loss how to reach after play because when a person has reached the climax he is no longer interested he is finished the job is done for that it needs a romantic mind, a poetic mind, a mind soaked in creating beautiful sculptures. How to be grateful, how to be thankful. Such is the meditative mind that evolves as a natural process. The, each person, the woman or a man, who has brought you to such a climax needs an expression of gratitude. Really, after play that I am talking about is your gratitude towards that person. A person has sang a beautiful song or performed a beautiful dance that has reached the inner core needs a gratitude, an expression of gratitude. And that expression of gratitude is after play that I am talking about. But it should evolve, emerge from deep within the recess of your heart. It is mutual expression of gratitude. And unless there is after play, it simply means your sex is incomplete. And incomplete sex brings misery and agony in an individual. And incomplete sex is the cause of all the troubles that man has been going through for so long. Sex can become orgasmic only when afterplay and foreplay are completely balanced. They are like two poles complementary to one another. The one that begins with is the positive pole. The foreplay is a positive pole. And afterplay that ends, after which orgasmic experience or illumination happens, is after play it is negative in nature but both are complementary foreplay and after play 
they completely neutralize one another for you to experience orgasmic explosion within you within your entire being sex can become orgasmic experience a realization only when the two complementary poles of foreplay and afterplay are completely in balance harmony and they neutralize one another at this point sex gives you the glimpse of meditation and which is the beginning of the process of transformation just in their balance the climax turns into orgasm this is the beginning of awakening this is the beginning of awakening and the word orgasm too has to be understood it means your whole being the body the mind soul everything becomes involved organically involved and you are pulsating then it becomes a moment of meditation to me your sex does not become to me unless your sex does not become finally a moment of meditation you have not really known what sex is yes you have heard about it you have read about it and people who have been writing about it know nothing about it i have read hundreds of books on this topic by people who are thought to be great experts and they are experts but they know nothing about the innermost shrine they know nothing about the innermost shrine of love where meditation happens mary madeline reached to this innermost shrine of love within her for her eternal beloved jesus mira had experience reached this innermost shrine of love within her and her life was an orgasmic experience of song and dance for her eternal beloved they know nothing about the innermost shrine of love where meditation blossoms just as children are born through ordinary sex meditation is born through extraordinary sex animals can produce children there is nothing special about it it is only when man can produce the experience of meditation as the center of his orgasmic feeling then he is he has given birth to himself then for the first time he realizes who he is this is possible only if from 14 to 21 14 to 21 young people are allowed to have romantic freedom to express them in different forms of romanticism poetry dance songs sculpture or whatsoever may be enough or not